Sorry, folks. I'm, I'm, I'm hanging out in this store right here. I'm on the hunt for a new backpack. And I came to look at these pack safes, but in a minute, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going with. But I'm also over here on some wallets. Let me check these out right here. An old Polaroid right there. The Polaroid is back. Talk about some retro stuff right there. So I'm going to take a look at these wallets. And they got this Pac-Man machine right here. And she says it works for five pesos. So I'm trying to tell these ladies right here that back when I was a kid, this was a video game, okay? And then they come out with Atari, but back in the day, this was this was a video game right here, ladies. You put a coin in there, so baby, you do, you do video. Okay. Take this five pesos, put it right here. Right here, push start button, one player only. So if you want to play two players, you got to put two in there. I'm gonna play one player. So here we go. All right, baby, just watch this right here. Then you gotta wait, because when you eat that, you can eat these ghosts over here, right? So I'm gonna wait for these ghosts to come near me. I'm gonna eat them all. Look at that. Look at that strategy. That's how you used to play video games back when I was a kid, right? That's Pac-Man. Not, you know, it used to be like this, but same thing. But now you know how to play Pac-Man for all you millennials. Ring cover is a little bit expensive, to be honest, but it fits perfectly, and that's a pretty good quality. And plus, it's from the same company. Ten buck two. I just looked them up. These backpacks, the gear, made in San Francisco. Here's a bag right here. It's called the Authority Backpack. And I'm gonna give you a tour when I get to the house. But this is what I'm gonna go with. And it's it's made in San Francisco. Company, some dude, he was like a messenger, a bicycle messenger. He started the company. Made in America. And I'm gonna show you all the features later on. But I gotta go with the rain cover because it's the same brand and it fits on there perfect. The question is, can you can you get this back into the stuff? To, a little stuff thing. That's gonna be the key. So I was looking at these wallets right here. And my beautiful girlfriend, the Helen of Troy, said, that's that's a woman's wallet. <laughs> and I said, well if that's a woman's wallet, then why does this say ladies wallet? Okay, that clearly says ladies wallet. Okay. That might look like a lady's wallet, but it just says passport wallet. So I'm gonna check it out. And to be honest, I don't care what anybody thinks. If I like it, I'm gonna get it. Not too bad. I do have one piece of gear from Travel On. Travel On is good quality, folks. And if I had to pair, compare the quality to Pack Safe, Travel On is better quality. You got better zippers, better materials. Uh, travel on beats out pack safe for quality. 
And you can check the price. The price probably reflects it too, but it's a pretty cool little passport wallet. And that thing is uh, that's 40 bucks. But again, travel on is good quality. And then down here you got the pack safe. The thing about the pack safe, you know, you do have these uh, lanyards. You can tether them to your backpack. When you pull it out, if you're pulling it out, somebody tries to grab your wallet, it's still connected to your bag. All right, folks, so uh, I want to give a shout out to my friend Neil. I was over at the Apple store. These guys came out of the blue, patted me on the back. It's like Overstay Road. So cool, man. And he told me about the, uh, the happy hour. It's over at the Peninsula, I think it is. It's like all you can drink or whatever it is. And maybe, I, maybe it's not the Peninsula. I'll have to look it up. But shout out to Neil over there. But again, folks, I'm thinking this is this is the bag I'm going with. Ten buck two. I'll talk about it when I get back to the room. Thanks for joining me. Doing a little shopping. All right, so here's the other ten buck two I was looking at. Right, this is gray color. It's probably more fashionable. But I don't know. It just kind of feels like this one. This one might be a little more waterproof on a daily basis without having to take the rain cover off if it's just drizzling rain. I think this is the one I want to go with. This is more fashion, but I think this one's going to be more waterproof for me. And folks, this store right here is near Mark and Spencer. There's a look, Timbuk2. Here's some other products right here. But this store is close to Mark and Spencer. Hey, what, what's the name of this shop? What, what's the name of this store? Brat Pack. Okay, so there's a logo right there. It's called Brat Pack. And it's close to Mark and Spencer. We're in uh, Greenbelt. This is Greenbelt. Greenbelt 5 up on the second level. So pretty cool. I just, I never heard of Timbug 2. I ran across that bag. It fit all the wickets of what I needed. And when I went to lunch and researched the company, I was like, hell yeah. Made in San Francisco. Something actually made in the U.S. I'm going with that over the pack safe, which I think that's made in China, Vietnam, wherever. Nothing against my folks over there. But you know what? You don't see much shit made in the US anymore. It seems to be a great product, and I'm gonna I'm gonna carry it. It's gonna be my new briefcase for a while, and I'm gonna review it. But folks, they got all kinds of stuff in here. And they also got Doc Martens over there. And there's a beautiful Helen over there chatting it up. One thing you know about Filipinos, folks, they, they can talk. They're always going to talk. They love to talk, socialize. So I'll let her do some socializing. I'm going to show you around the shop. Because I'm just kind of like feeling out this backpack, how it feels in my hand. But here's a look around. They got a lot of, a lot of the top brands in here. It's Herschel. What do we got over here? And we got ladies' purses. And travel on, more travel on stuff. So if you're looking, looking for some cool travel gear, they got a wide range from North Face to Osprey. What else you got? I didn't see any Arc'teryx, but you got all the top brands right here in one spot under one roof. And I'm gonna pull the trigger on this new briefcase. Cause I got this little briefcase, and I was walking around yesterday. We're waiting on my baby's mother to show up to bring the baby. And that bitch was so late. I was walking around for fucking hours. And that that little laptop bag with the one strap, I wasn't carrying my Indiana gear bag. I was carrying a, another little laptop bag. And that shit hurt my shoulder so bad, I'm like, fuck that. Tomorrow I'm getting a goddamn I'm I'm changing over from this laptop case with all this gear to a backpack still rocking the indiana gear bag but it won't fit everything that i have to use now all right some more backpacks there and i'm, I'm digging these doc martens over here too my friends i used to have a pair of doc martin sandals way back in the day i'm talking i don't know 20 years ago and i'm digging these boots over here that's some nice damn boots, and I'm sure the price is gonna reflect on it. 
All right. Hey, I want to thank everybody for joining me. I got to get back to hanging out with these beautiful Filipinas right here and see what else I'm going to buy up in this shop. Thanks for being a subscriber. And again, there's a look around. Some more stuff right there. Too cool of a little shop. If you're a travel, a travel geek, a, uh, you know, a bag, a aficionado, whatever the word is, you got to come check out this place. And there's a beautiful Helen of Troy. Say hello. All right, folks, I ran across this little, and it's locked here. This is Herschel. And I'm going to check out this wallet right here. And that one right there. Let's check out a travel wallet. I mean, I got a great travel wallet. I've had this for years. I bought that for $1 in Cambodia. It's a recycled concrete sack. But this thing is a champion. It's damn near waterproof. All right, so let's see what we got here. This is by Herschel. Yes, sir. Yeah, let's demonstrate that. Got a good little zipper pouch. Okay, but that's not big enough for passport, right? That's just a wallet. Oh, that feels good. How much is this man right here? $3,900. Okay, $3,900. So this is $80. $80. Not a bad wallet, but... If you're into fashion, I think uh, that's where you need to come back here. Herschel got some got some cool wallets, cool fashion going on. I think it's the yeah, let me see that one over there. Check that one out. It's gonna be hard to beat my travel wallet that I have now. I should be in passport. Yeah, passport ain't gonna fit in there, baby. That's a nice wallet right there. What I like is it's got two dividers because when you're country to country, you put pesos in there and pie bot in there, therms in there, pesos in there. Split it up. Not a bad little wallet. A little bit thick though. But if it's gonna ride in your bag, who cares? How much is this one? $2,790. All right, so this one's about 50 bucks. Um, the what do we got right there, baby? That's a travel wallet by Herschel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're coming into something more functional. Obviously, no fashion or style on this guy. But look, you put, put boarding pass right there. Passport just slides down in there. Travel wallet. Some zipper. And that's light too. That's the light as can be. But I don't know. I think if I went with something that big, I'd want that tether, tether it to my a backpack. So that's obviously not gonna fit in your pocket. How much is this one? $1,490. Okay, $1,490. Okay, so that's not that's not too expensive, folks. Pretty good. Look, let me check it out again here. Yeah, but the problem is, where are you going to put it? In your pocket? In your bag? And you keep in taking bag. it in and out of your bag? In your bag. Putting a small dog bag. This one. I will say this, one, two, three, four, five, mm. six. You can put six cars on well, a double six stack and probably 12. Ever. It just slides in and out. But that is very light. Yeah, the price not too bad. All right, so let me keep looking, folks. <laughs> hey, folks, <laughs> these, ladies, these ladies are laughing at my <laughs> travel wallet here. What they don't know is that this is a rare albino snake from out of Madagascar. This, mm, this, you wallet, give you, you give you this wallet is worth about four million pesos. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I, my bad, that's, that's not a snake, that's a recycled rice sack. Mm. That's, that's an old rice sack they put some zippers on, I paid $1 for that. 
So you've got two compartments. All right, so she's showing me this little simple one here. That's simplicity. Because what I, what I said was, when you put this in your front pocket, it's a low profile. If I put that in my front pocket, it's a bulge. So I'm, I'm looking for something slim so I can keep it in my pocket. But if I run across the right passport holder slash combination, then you never know. Beautiful Helen taking a business call. Baby, tell them the, tell them the whole all calls today. It's Saturday. This is the PackSafe B150. Trying to decide which one I want to go with. Now this one here, you slide your passport in through the top. And you got a case or a spot right here. Also a little zipper where you can hide some cash in the back. Pin holder. And it's got a little zipper spot for your important ID and some stuff behind here. And it's also got this little outside zipper pouch. Now what I was telling this young lady is it's a little bit thicker profile, but I do like to be able to zip up. So that way, when we put it in your bag, you know nothing's coming out. And this feature here, you can also use a security chain to hang around your neck and make it a neck chain. Now, I don't recommend you ever wear it like that. Some people do. And the price on this dude is uh, 26, what is that? 2640 pesos, 2690, about 50 bucks. Let me see the other one, the small one here. No, this is a big one, this is a, that's a B200, that's too big. I mean, I guess it's boarding pass, passport on the outside, but that's too big. Where, where's the other slim one, the little slim one that we were looking at? All right, so that's a possibility, B150. All right, so that's the B150, and this is the B, that's the B140. The difference is, this guy right here doesn't have a zipper, and that's why it's slim on it. It doesn't have a zipper, it just has this fold over right here, so like that. And this one's a lot slimmer to put in your pocket. And it's, a, it's a pretty cool piece of gear, but it's the dilemma of not being able to zip it up. Because if you drop it, or this thing's upside down, maybe something falls out. This is the added security with the added bolt. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to go with. I have a little passport holder, but every time you go to immigration now, they tell you to take it out. I'm tired of taking my passport in and out of this little passport holder. So if it's in here, you got to take it out anyhow. So I might as well just keep it in something a little more sturdy. That's the that's the dilemma, folks, that I'm facing right now. The 140 versus the 150. Which one do we go with? All right. So I'll tell you. I'll tell you later which one I went with. I'll tell you what, later which one I went with and why. Well, check out this Polaroid. Is this thing really shooting 600 film? And it looks like it is. The original is back. Yeah, that's 600 film. Old Polaroids. Folks, here's head, head grin, if I say that right. We got some head grin products. And here's some more travel on stuff. Have you seen that review I did on that one travel on bag? I just spotted it. It's this bag right here. So you, you check my uh, my old videos and I did a review on this travel on bag right here. It's a sealed carry bag, but I ripped out the uh, holster. But it's a pretty cool bag right there. If you're looking for like a little bit bigger shoulder bag, I mean, if you're doing concealed carry in the States, you know, I think they market it for uh, ladies, but it's still a badass travel bag. Wrap out, rip out the uh, holster over there. We got some good stuff. There's Hegrin. <laughs> Look at this little compass flask. That is too cool. 
That is too cool right there. That'd be a that would be a uh, luxury item though. I'm actually business shopping, whether you believe it or not, because I can carry my entire office in a briefcase or a satchel or a gear bag. So that's my office. I'm investing today in a new office on this backpack because my office has got heavy, folks, especially since I got that new iPad Pro. Since I got the new iPad Pro, my bag is, is too heavy to carry as a satchel or as a uh, shoulder bag. I got I to gotta skip to a backpack. Put that old Sony camcorder in there. It's just too damn heavy. So, and again, if you, you're looking for some cool, cool travel gear, I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a, a shot of the outside of this place. But they got everything that the traveler is looking for in good quality and some unique stuff. All the top brands. Water bottles over there. I'm not in the market because give a shout out to my mom. My mom has supposedly bought me a uh, what the hell I call that? Yeti? Bought me a Yeti cup. So I'm waiting to get the Yeti. Got some games and stuff over here. There's more backpacks from Herschel. And they've actually got some uh, shirts and stuff right here. Alright folks, I'm gonna quit video because I'm gonna show you how to get here in the outside of this place. Let me go check out. Okay, folks. So this this flask is 1,190, but it's too cool. It's got a compass on it. It's stainless steel. I could put some Jack Daniels in there and put it in my backpack. Can we can we take it out? Can I see it? Hey, folks. This beautiful lady's been helping me for like hours. She has been helping me above and beyond the Call of Duty. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You could also use that as a signal mirror. If I get lost in the Swiss Alps, I can't say what that say. It says uh, five ounce. I thought that said old number seven brand. It's like a perfume bottle, but it's a flask. Can I justify that as an emergency piece of equipment? As a signal mirror, you know, if I'm lost in the desert, I could use that as a signal mirror, right? I might save my life along with that Jack Daniels. So, we may have to go with that. Now, let me check it out further. All right, folks, it's time to pay the piper. But again, this lovely sales lady has been helping me the whole time here at Brat Pack. Damn, man, you guys got a lot of cool stuff here. Yes, sir. It's, uh, I'm stuff. Yeah, I got the good brands. And don't know, what's your name again? Kathleen. Kathleen. All right, folks. If you come here, if you come here, I want you to ask for Kathleen, and you <laughs> tell her that Mark uh, goes sent you. She'll take care of you. You're not gonna get a discount, but you, she'll take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend's purse strap just broke. That's what you get when you buy stuff at, at the market cheap from China, <laughs> That's so right? Hard to it's all right, I got, I got her a brand new purse back on my place. You can't put your chicken in my bag. I don't want, want my backpack smelling like leftover chicken. Oh my God. We'll see you, girl. Thank you very much. All right, my friends, we are out of here. I got this nice gift bag right here. And Helena Troy is trying to put leftover chicken in my backpack. My brand new backpack is gonna smell like leftover chicken. I'm gonna show you guys where this place is. So we're right here, Greenbelt, what did they say, Greenbelt Pod. Here's a look around. All right, that's a place right here called the Brat Pack. They got Doc Martens on the wall right there, but it's called the Brat Pack. Brat Pack. Right there is Mark and Spencer. Right down the way is Chili, so that's probably the easiest way. You're on the same level as Chili's. Chili's is way down there on the left. That's Mark and Spencer over there. And you beat the Brat Pack. We got more, more of the storefront right here. 
folks, believe it or not. All right, check it out. So believe it or not, the uh, the price that I got on this backpack, and I'll put it down there. When I, I checked the website and I did the research at lunch, um, it was actually a fair price because a lot of times you think you're getting stuff over here cheaper, but uh, like the name brand stuff from the U.S., a lot of times it's more expensive. But I got this at comparable price to what I would get it on the website, and I'm happy with the purchase. And I'll give you a review of this gear when we get back to the room. But for now, I'm going to take you on a walk around uh, right here at Greenbelt. And we're in Makati. Makati area of Manila in the Philippines, my friends. It's so good. I was overlooking the, one of the areas of the courtyard. And folks, if, you, if you've never been to uh, Greenbelt, it's like a slice of uh, Beverly Hills in the middle of Manila. It's really nice. You got these little sidewalk, sidewalk restaurants and bars. Some, you know, really uh, trendy little little restaurants. I'm on the hunt for uh, a draft beer, and I can't remember the name of the place. So I'm gonna go hunt it down and have a drink before we get back to our room and start editing some video. Because after the fun is over, that's when you got to pay the piper. You got to pay the YouTube piper and edit, upload, do all the back end work. The fun part's actually filming, but that's really a fraction of the time it takes to run a YouTube channel. Unless you're just posting stuff unedited with a title and going to the next one, which some people do. Let's so look around. The Johnny Walker House. Yeah, Seattle's best coffee. This is that Green Belt Three right here, in Cafe Havana. And right up there is the Apple Store where we just come from. We're gonna walk over here see if we can find my one of my favorite beer spots. Today's a Saturday, and you can see it is. It's just beautiful weather. And I think back over in this direction is where one of my favorite little beer spots is. I'll have to remember it. I love it when I find some good German beer on draft. Watch out, get by a, by a ladder. It'll figure it out. Ooh. The green belt too is this way in the direction we were traveling and i think these little one of these little outside seating areas is where i'm trying to go here and like i said it's saturday afternoon check out these little cool trendy places though mary grace the place is packed out yeah this is it right here Okay, yeah. It's called the Draft, or just plain Draft, right here at Greenbelt. And I like to sit out here, and they got Pauliner on Draft. And what's he got? Compadre Craft Beer. But he's got Pauliner, got Pauliner Oktoberfest Beer, and the original the, the Dark Beer. But this gentleman is pouring what appears to be a craft beer. Is that craft beer, my friend? Compadre? Where we got a wheat beer and a pilsner? Where's that beer brewed at? Uh, it's like, uh, it's like my it, Right here? Okay, cool. All right, so we're probably gonna go with that, folks. Got a beautiful Helen here. She's, uh, she's pissed off right now. And I'm gonna tell you why. Baby, tell everybody why you're pissed off right now. I'm too tired. I want to sleep. All right. Folks, give me a second. I'm going to explain to you why Helen's pissed off. Again, folks, this place just called simply the draft or draft at Greenbelt. All right. Now, I bet you're dying to know why Helen of Troy is pissed off. And I'm going to tell you, my friends. 
there's, there's two things you basically need to know about a Filipina and her mood. I'll say three things. Maybe the third thing's obvious, but number one, okay, like, like in the West, we pretty much go with mission accomplishment first. In other words, if we have to like take a late lunch to uh, get a project done or to have a meeting, or if we have to skip lunch because we're just too busy, that's acceptable. Yeah, we're hungry. You know, you're hungry, you don't wanna skip lunch, but if you have to, to do so in the course of your day, you know, you do it. When you leave America, when you leave the West, people don't think like that. They don't think like that. It's, it's almost like, I mean, I would hate to be in the Philippines having brain surgery at lunchtime. Because it's like, when people start getting hungry, they're gonna quit whatever the hell they're doing and they're gonna go eat. So if you got a Filipina, you gotta keep that in mind because folks, they'll start getting bitchy and cranky and irritable and you're like, oh shit, we forgot to go to lunch at, you know, in a timely fashion, we got too busy. And they may not come out and say, hey, we got, you know, when are we gonna go to lunch? They'll, they'll just get in a bad mood, bitchy, cranky, and then you know, you look down and realize what time it is and realize, oh shit, we, I gotta get this girl to lunch. You get her some lunch, she's back to being happy, 100%. Well, the same applies when they're sleeping. Now, my Filipinas love to take naps during the day. If I'm not there, they are constantly napping. And so for them to go a full day without taking a nap, that's just unusual. They're not used to that. They're used to taking a nap and even if they're watching some Tagalog soap operas, they're gonna doze off and take a nap. So the reason that Helen of Troy right now is pissed off, not because we didn't eat. We had a great lunch. I took her to Chili's, you know, got her to sampler just to taste some different American flavors. So she had a great meal, great lunch. She's even got a little, a little doggy bag right here with some food to go. But the reason Helen of Troy is pissed off, tell them one more time, baby. <laughs> Why are you mad? Why? I want to sleep the whole night. I'm drinking one more drink. And then I drink fast. Oh, she wants to sleep. She wants to go to sleep. And she said, just give me one beer and, and call grab because I just want to sleep. And I said, yeah, walking around the mall, window shopping, it's, it's, it's stressful, right? Oh, my God. What's wrong, baby? Your legs are hurting too? And folks, she's in her early 20s, mid 20s. And she acts like she's 75 years old. Oh my God, excuse me, I'm 26. Okay, 26, all right, so she's late 20s. But uh, window shopping today has wore her ass out. Third thing, and I guess this applies in the world, but especially to a Filipina, they can be the happiest person in the world, go on f Facebook for two minutes and be crying their eyes out, you know, in the bedroom, in the closet, you know? <laughs> Facebook dictates a Filipina's mood to the extreme. I mean, I think a lot of other cultures, we just breeze over it. But a Filipina, I mean, 30 seconds on Facebook can go from laughing to crying over people's Facebook posts. That's just the way it is. All right, let's order some beer here. You said that this Compadre Craft is brewed locally in Taguig. And they got the Pilsner, which is not available. The only thing available is the wheat beer. 100 pesos for the half pint, 160 for the pint. And they, they do have an IPA and a stout, but in the Philippines, you will hear the term not available on a daily basis. So they got four options, but three out of the four are not available. So it looks like we're going with the wheat beer. And about a 4.8% alcohol. But when this, this gentleman over here, when he was pouring it, it looks like, I mean, from the, from the uh, presentation of it, it looks like it's gonna be delicious. I'm so tired now, baby. I'm not playing. Are 
you too tired to play Facebook? <laughs> Folks, you see the stress and the drama that I have to put up with on a daily basis from all my ladies. I'm just kidding. It's no stress, no drama. It made me laugh. But uh, I promise you, if she could lay down on this bench right now and go to sleep, she would. You want to take a nap? Use that, use that sack of chicken as a pillow, baby. You wake up, your hair smelling like chicken. All right, thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. All right, again, folks, this is the Compadre Craft Wheat Beer. And I'm going to ask Helen to film for just a second, if you don't mind. Baby, could you film for just a second? I know you're sleepy. Damn, folks, it's hard to get good help these days. Chop, chop. Compadre Craft. Take that. I'll take that half pint for two dollars, no problem. That goes down smooth. Okay, taste your beer, baby. Let us know how much what a Filipino thinks of the compadre craft beer. You know this is going on YouTube, right? Good. That's good, baby. Folks, I got a, I got an angry Filipino on my hands. He's <laughs> sleepy. It's like a wounded tiger. It's like a, a cat that just got smashed by a rocking chair. She's mad. Okay, baby. I'm so shy now. <laughs> what do you want to oh ask? What do you want to ask me? <laughs> I want to meet you, but will I meet you? What? Oh, no. What do you want? Nothing. <laughs> so she fired up her own video for like two minutes trying to interview me, and it was all a setup to say. I want to sleep now. <laughs> my boyfriend is always video me. Oh my goodness. Why? <laughs> You're always stopping. Yes, baby. baby. Yes. Maybe. Yes. I want to sleep now. After you drink, finish, you go up the car and then go home. Okay, baby, we go, we'll go get some sleep. You're the king, you know. I'm your queen. I got sleep now. <laughs> we speak of the... No, no password! And password charger. Why did you forget your charger? Because you already charged it always. No. Because you before are... I got to before I got to the room, you had no battery left because you forgot your charger, right? Yeah. But... Why did you forget your cell phone charger? I don't know. I forget also. All right, I'm gonna tell you right now. If you have a Filipina and you just meet her, especially if she's from the province, she's probably gonna have a talking text phone. The screen is going to be cracked. The battery doesn't work. Okay, her phone is going to be just fucked up. And then you decide, okay, this is my girlfriend, right? I'm going to buy her a new phone. You buy her a new phone, whether it's a new talking text, a Samsung, iPhone. Every damn day, she's going to have low battery. Because they don't charge their phones at night. 
for some reason they've been told that if you leave the phone plugged in it could catch on fire so every Filipina is scared to plug her phone in at night and wake up with a full 100% charge so they wake up in the morning with like 9% roll out during the day by noon their battery goes dead that's the way the way it is they forget to charge their damn phone and you say oh man give them a power bank no because they won't charge the damn power bank they'll have a phone with a bed, dead battery and a power bank with a dead battery so Helen was meeting me down here and what does she forget she forgets her charger so when I show up she's got no battery left on her phone waiting for me looking at me because she knows I've got a charger in my bag you know where's the charger where's it? you know and then now and now she's she's got her phone charged up because I plugged it in for her the past two nights and she's over here strutting I got 82% battery you know why because I plugged it in with my charger because your charger is up at the condo That's it. folks little things like this you start dating a Filipina you got to constantly remind them charge your battery where's your charger if you're going on a trip where's your, where's your cell phone charger Constant battle. I love them, but constant battle. Little things like that. Why you don't charge your phone? Uh -huh. Why you forget your charger? I don't know. Okay, she don't know. That's the answer. Most important piece of gear that they always have, but they forget to charge it. I love you, baby. It's okay, baby. Because King Marcos always take care of Oh, so sweet.